Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Solinix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this uh, new video uh, on Solana. I wanted to do a full update. Of course, I, I do these daily updates. I've been I've been doing them for months, uh, but we'll do a full update. All right, we'll do a full update on, on what to expect for Solana here. Are we still bullish after yesterday? Um, I would yesterday I was I was quite bullish on Solana. I told you I, I think it's most likely to go up even higher. Uh, and I still think that's the case, but the situation is here and there. It's a little bit different. So we'll just take a we'll take a full look at the technical situation here. Uh, but we will also talk about the fundamentals briefly and just in general what to expect. So let's get right into it. Excuse me. Um, so first of all, what I like a lot about Solana right now is the fact that it's the the, the second biggest blockchain out there at this moment. All right. And the total value locked is still growing. Right now we're at $12.1 billion. As most of you know, we are nearing that all-time high in total value locked. And there just is a divergence, all right? Because if you know that that's the case, and then you see that the price is lower than what it was back then, when the network was as big as it is right now, uh, to me, that, that gives us the opportunity to, to fill that divergence and, and rally back up to the previous high. So purely fundamentally, I am very bullish on Solana. Now, the only thing before we dive into the technicals, the only thing which which I like a little bit less is that I think right now that the, the volume right now in the market is very, very low. All right. And I, I do think Bitcoin is, is more bullish than bearish. Uh, but I also I also do think that Bitcoin is a is, is a bit shaky. All right. If you if you know what I mean. Uh, in the sense that it's very much up and down, it's consolidating. There's a lot of liquidity around it, so it can bounce up and down quite a bit. And if we if we bounce down and we don't recover, which everything is possible in crypto, then even though the fundamentals for Solana are, are so strong, I don't think it would rally if Bitcoin is not at least relatively bullish. Uh, so that's the only thing I'm, I'm worried about slightly, but at, I, I don't think that there's any reason to worry yet, all right? Uh, because, and we looked at this yesterday as well, but if you look at Solana right now, yesterday we gained a ton of momentum. As you can see, we lost some over the course of yesterday, and that's also what you can see right here. I would say that if, if, we're, if, if we're really being strict with the technicals, this is maybe a bit of a, a, a bullish flag, right? So we have momentum, bullish flag, which will eventually lead to a continuation up. Um, so that's going on and you can also and that's also reflected in the momentum that we have lost right here uh, however the momentum has also or the open interest has also found support i think solana if you go to the four hour time frame this still looks uh, very very bullish uh, right this is an uptrend emas are trending up we have momentum still that's also still on the rise um, so my, my expectations and my thesis has not changed, all right? The only, only thing that can happen, like oh, over the course of today, what I expect is that we'll, we'll kind of bounce, uh, bounce up and down here, right, right here. So maybe down to 190, 191 and 190. And then ultimately somewhere in the next 24 hours, I expect us to break out and start rallying back up to, well, first of all, probably 205, maybe after that 210. And we'll see whether we can break out from there. Um, but that's what I expect. The only thing to, to kind of be on the lookout for or the only thing to, to be slightly not scared about, but but careful for is if we like right now, the main support level, I would say, is right here at 190. If for some reason Bitcoin actually turns quite bearish and Solana drops down below 190, then we're in a bit of a then we're in a bit of a problem. All right. And in crypto, anything can happen. So even though fundamentally and technically that doesn't look likely like something like this would be very surprising even though that's the case be prepared for it keep your eyes on those important support levels like i said around 190 as long as you're prepared for it you'll be fine all right and like i said most likely is still a very much a bullish continuation here so those are my thoughts that's what i think you need to know for now if you do have any questions of course uh, let me know down in the comments uh, but for now thank you for watching have a great rest of your of your sunday uh, take care and bye.